This may be the best cupcake recipe in the history of the universe! It's just missing one super special ingredient. <laughs> right, Lucky Spoon? Right you are, Strawberry. And that ingredient is... I dreamed the very best cupcake recipe. It had this perfect ingredient. It was, um, it, it, wa it, it was the, hold on, I know this, it, no, I can't remember what it is. Why can't I remember what it is? Come on, strawberry, it can't be that hard. Think, think, think. Uh, shortcakes, you okay? No, I came up with the cupcake recipe of my dreams, in my dreams. But I can't remember the last ingredient. Ooh, I've got just the thing. My Dream Grubber 3000. This baby uses cosmic waves to absorb all of your nighty nighttime thoughts. <laughs> kind of fair. <laughs> eh, it's still in beta testing. This is just like issue 37 of Terrific Tales of Tangerine Smash. Tangerine Smash was trapped in the dream world by her arch enemy, Night Mangle, and couldn't remember how to escape. <gasps> just like me. How did she remember? Her sidekick, Guava Girl's utility belt, gets them out of any jam. Well, a utility belt isn't gonna help with this mental jam. Ow! Ow! Lemon! I'm not wearing the helmet! Why am I getting shocked? Huh, is that a bug? Or a feature? A mystery requires a detective skills. Inspector Sherbet Cones always retraces his steps. What did you do yesterday? Nothing out of the ordinary. I woke up, cleaned my room. <coughs> then I had breakfast. I think it was toast with jam. Ow! Lemon! Oh, this thing is stronger than I thought. What else did you do? Complicated recipe. <laughs> yeah, just a typical day. I can help you out. You can? Sure. Follow me. To remember your dream, you need sleep. To sleep, you need to be zen. To be zen, you need to meditate. Uh, 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 um, Strawberry, what are you doing? Seeing if any ingredients jog my memory. Chocolate, peanut butter, jam. Ow! Bean grabber, more like shock maker. Shock maker, huh? You don't happen to have a patent on that, do you? My friends were trying, but they were not helping. Seriously, not helping. If only my lucky spoon could talk, then. Top ah! buns! If I get one more. Wait a second. Gonna help with this mental jam. <laughs> jam. Jam! Ow! Jam! Ow! That's the ingredient! The shocks were from J-A-M! Yes! Lemon's machine worked! Oh, my friends helped after all. Well, they're gonna be the first ones to taste my dream recipe. Ow! Here you go. Try it. Oh, you're gonna love it. So, what do you think? Now that's what I call baking it happen. Good job, Strawberry. Is it spaghetti? It's okay, Strawberry. Every berry needs to know how to get around the city on the funnel system. Luckily, you have me to teach you. It can be very complicated, so do exactly what I do and memorize everything I say. Start here at Rhubarb Station and take the Pineapple Express to. <gasps> Yo. Ah! Strawberry. Hi. 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 I do. I'm a lost berry. Lost little berry. What you gonna do? Lost little berry. Help is gonna find you. Hey there. You okay? Hi. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. Can you and your Pet rat, help me. Ferret, actually. He's Red Hot, and I'm Huckleberry Pie. We play here in the funnel system for all our fans. We 
can probably take a break. Thank you! I have no idea how the funnel system works. <sighs> Figuring it out is easy. You just have to do it. But I don't know what I'm doing. What if I mess up? Just try a little something new. And I promise when you do, won't be as scary as you thought. And you'll be fine and make it through. I feel a little overwhelmed and filled with fear. Oh, you'll be fine. Not sure what I should do, it's all unclear. Just take your time. But what if I choose wrong? Then we'll start again, it's no big deal Just try a little something new And I promise when you do Won't be as scary as you thought And you'll be fine and make it through So try a little something new And I promise when you do It's gonna be all okay Cause I believe in you You know, be brave and choose your way, and you'll be okay. And if you're not, we'll back it up and start again. So try a little something new, and I promise when you do, it won't be as scary as you thought, and you'll be fine and make it through. So try a little something new, and I promise when you do, it's gonna be all okay. Cause I believe. cake system. Also, you are really talented. Music is my passion. <gasps> like baking for me. Baking? Well, eating is my second passion. Strawberry! Lime? Lime? I found you. Did this rat hurt you? Ferret, actually. And I'm fine. Huckleberry Pie helped me. He's a musician. Actually, Huck, why don't you come with us to the Berry Works? I'm sure every berry would love your music. Uh, sorry, Strawberry. I just can't disappoint my fans down here. Right. Well, at least let me give you a thank you, Cupcake. See ya! Mm. Mm. On second thought, uh, maybe it's time for Red Hot and I to expand our musical horizons. There are more cupcakes at the Berry Works, right? <laughs> My costume is perfect. Bright Ball is all about being scary, and a scarecrow literally scares crows. <laughs> right, Custard? I overheard Raspberry Tart and the other Mean Berry saying they didn't think I would even wear a costume to the annual Fright Ball Ball. They clearly don't know this berry. Let's show these big city berries. No berry does Fright Ball like we do. Why are we the only ones dressed up? <coughs> this is my nightmare. Shortcakes, what are you wearing? It's a Fright Ball Ball. Why isn't every berry dressed up? No, this is Peach Trifle's Fall Ball. But Raspberry Tart said. <laughs> <laughs> nice costume. You're definitely the scariest thing at this party. <laughs> yeah, you really need to stop listening to her. What is going on over here? I'm Peach Trifle. This is my event. You are? Strawberry Shortcake. I'm a scarecrow, and this is my crow custard. We're dressed up for Fright Ball. Ta-da! Costumes and cheap scares aren't really what I'm known for. I throw the grandest parties in Big Apple City. Every berry loves them. No offense, but maybe your party could use some costumes and cheap scares. Excuse me? It couldn't hurt to try. The harvest moon hangs in the sky. Scarecrow scare as crows fly by. Somewhere close a howling cry. Chills and thrills in store for us. Don't take it too serious. It's, it's time to have some fun. It's a frightful night, so chill and delightful. We're in Austin, scare a friend. The thrills and chills don't have to be. A frightful night, so join in the fun. Delicious and frightacular. Tonight will be spectacular. Do you wanna be? Just use your creativity and let your inner monster free. Jump and scream, boom! It's kind of fun to be a. Friend. 
strawberry shortcake, Big Apple City's annual fall ball is no more. From this year forward, I shall throw the Fright Ball Frightacular! <laughs> Winter Swirl is such a beautiful holiday. Peace on Earth, goodwill towards other berries. Presents! Can we start the gift exchange? Can we? Once we're all here. Where's Strawberry? Here! I'm here! I'm... Ooh, this is so heavy. <sighs> I don't like to brag, but Winter Swirl gifts? Totally my jam. A perfect gift shows you really get your friends. And I get the perfect gift for every berry. These might be the most perfect gifts ever. <laughs> I don't know about most perfect, but... Wait for me! I'm here! I got it! Didn't want to miss the gift exchange. I've got the most perfect gift from my favorite berries. <laughs> it's not a competition. Because if it was, I'd clearly be the winner. It's a family tradition. It's the best gift I can give. A song! <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonderful time of year. I love it. Is there more? Up to you. That's the gift. We make this song together. A song as a gift is bad enough, but a song you don't even finish. I'd rather get socks. <sighs> don't pay any attention to those berries. We get it now. Try again. It's a wonderful time of year. So much joy, so much cheer. Merry berries far and near. And all the Swirl isn't about what you give, it's about who you give it to. And Huck gave us all something really special. But I still give really great gifts. Cranberry Jam says the most important ingredient in any dish is love. Unless that dish is gooseberry pie. Then it's gooseberries. Nutritious, delicious, and makes me ambitious. I'm training for the All City Cherry Thon, and nothing gets me amped like gooseberry smoothie. I need some quality gooseberries to nail this recipe. Fortunately, Orange Blossom told me there's only one place in Big Apple City to get good gooseberries Mr. Mango Steen's Fruit Stand. Good morning, morning Mr. Mango Steen. Morning, girls. What can I do for you? One, One carton, carton of gooseberries, please. please. I'm sorry, girls, but I just sold out. 
Last batch is going to Mrs. Crumbcake all the way across town. Oh. Of course, it was a big order. I bet she'd have enough berries left over for just one more recipe. <gasps> oh, there goes my delivery boy now. should have the berries. You told me about the fruit stand. Uh, no, you should have them. I insist. Okay, bye. <laughs> Seriously? You insisted! I insisted because I thought you'd insist a bit more on return. <laughs> wow, orange is fast. Sunberry, who will not be getting any gooseberries today. <laughs> no pictures. Wow. Shortcakes is resourceful. Wow. Did I mention Orange is fast? But hey, she's not going to beat a bus, right? <laughs> Please tell me she won't. I'll save you some berries! Yeah, it uh, really, really gets crowded in here, doesn't it? I know, right? Lading? That's unfair! Unfair? You got on a bus! That's a really good point! I need wheels! Girls, what can I do for you? Gooseberries! If, if I, don't I don't get them, them I, I can't, can't make my pot and I'll lose my baking cup and a tree them! Oh dear, I was just going to use them to make juice for my granddaughter. Glammy Crumpcake says gooseberry juice will make me big and strong. You know what? It's not a big deal. <laughs> uh, I think we're at the wrong house. Enjoy that gooseberry juice. So, that got weird. It did. You wrote an ostrich. I did. We got a little carried away. No berry is worth all that. Totally, totally. Especially since elderberries would be a great substitute in a pie anyway. Oh yeah. I mean, they have the same nutritional value as gooseberries. I saw one last star at Mangelstein's. <laughs> Thanks, Custard. This is a very important cupcake order. Oh, not now, Custard. I have to finish this special order before tomorrow. It needs to be perfect. Another mystery. 
was that, Pumpkin? <laughs> Something about <laughs> strawberry? <laughs> Cheesecake! <laughs> oh, I didn't know you liked charades. Okay, two words. One word. Sounds like... Day? Who forgot what? This way! Huh. Strawberry. Uh -uh. Forgot. Custard! Uh -uh. Earth Day! <laughs> Custard has her own Earth Day? Uh, there's only one Earth Day. Every day should be Earth Day. Uh -huh. Earth Day! <gasps> Strawberry forgot Custard's birthday! Oh! Ah, what's up? You forgot Custard's birthday. I did what now? Are we talking about this birthday? The one that's tomorrow? Huh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> did you notice me say these needed to be perfect? or what the main ingredient was in this important cupcake order. Aww. <laughs> Lemon! That's cat food! Meh. Mmm, crunchy. <laughs> I was going to throw a surprise party tomorrow, but since every berry and every pet is here now, I guess we get to have the party a day early. Happy birthday, Custard! Happy birthday! <laughs> Turkey roasting? Check! You, uh, you sure your mom is okay with you not going home for the holiday? Oh, yeah! I told her how excited I was to experience my first fairy bounty banquet in Big Apple City! A small, delicious celebration. Ugh. Uh, Aunt Praline? Um... Do we have any extra space for the banquet? Uh, how much space are we talking about? Oh, just my friends and also their entire families. Did you invite their entire family, Strawberry? Well... I want every berry there. Me familia es tu familia. Maybe... There's not enough space. There's not enough time. There's not enough food. It's impossible. Did you just say... Impossible? Yes! There is no way we can do this! I'll just, I'll text them. I'll tell them I made a mistake and ruined every berry's, you know, time. Impossible is what the women in our family are all about. Impossible's my jam! We've got our work cut out for us. When things go wrong, then we adjust. If it's tough, don't get stressed. That's when we're at our best. And if your world feels like it's crashing down, we'll turn it back around. Turn it back around. If life knocks you down, knocks you down, you get back up. If it knocks you down, knocks you down, you get back up. Turn it all around, all around, and get back up. If life knocks you down, knocks you down, you get back up, 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 up. up. You get back up. Some things might seem impossible. But trust me, we're unstoppable. The two of us won't ever fall. Get out of our way. Together we are number one. Turn problems into something fun. Before you know it, we'll be done. We're saving the day. Don't ever think that you're going under. We never give up. Very show them that thunder. And if your world feels like it's crashing down.
Amazing, fabulous, shockingly efficient. Yeah, we really are. Not to mention lucky. <laughs> You were saying? What are we gonna do? Now that is a winter swirl tree. <sighs> All right, let's get to it. Hmm, quick question. Why is Sour Grapes attacking the tree? She decorates it every year. Winter swirl. Whoa. Deck the halls. This tree is like my soul. But, but, but winter swirl trees should be magical glowing beacons of hope! Isn't there any berry else who could... Hold the scone. I've got an idea. Lemon would be great, but she's gonna say no. Why? Lighting a tree seems like a totally lemon thing to do. Whoever decorates the tree has to give a speech at the tree lighting. Lemon? Not really an outgoing berry, so why are you making that face? You know who is an outgoing berry? Me! <laughs> who better to turn lemon into the perfect public speaker? Hi! Yeah, we've decided you're decorating the winter swirl tree this year. <gasps> No, 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 no. I don't do speeches. But you can make this place look more amazing than any other berry. Oh, that is true. And the speech? Pfft, easy once we turn you into a speech-giving machine. Please? Oh. Speech-giving machine activated. Ugh, that sounded better in my head. Fine. What do I do? Use descriptive words. You aren't lighting a tree. You're illuminating the spirit of the season. Uh -huh. Look every berry in the eye with a look that says, hey, you, listen to what I'm saying. Uh, Grr. If you get nervous, just think of every berry in their underwear. Gross. And last but not least, smile, be yourself, speak from the heart, and you'll be perfect. You get all that? Uh. Great! Show us what you've got. <clears throat> hey there. Arr! So... Arr! I, uh... Wanna illuminate the... Lots of spark berries. Underwear! We all have it! In summary, trees. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, that was... Well, see, this is why I never wanted to light the tree in the first place. The thing about being an outgoing berry is sometimes you forget not every berry is as outgoing as you. Um, Lemon? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk at all. I know, I know. Just, just listen. I shouldn't have tried to force you to do something you didn't want to do. You're perfect just the way you are. You're just so good at decorating, huh? Yeah, well, if I didn't have to give a speech, I'd love to. Why are you making that face? The thing about being an outgoing berry is you can speak up for your friends who don't like speaking as much by getting rid of silly rules like having to give a speech. <laughs> My pal Lemon is going to let her work speak for itself. <laughs> <laughs> now that was an awesome speech. Yeah, I am pretty awesome. No! Hot cross buns! This is horrible! What's with all the yelling? My strawberry pies! I set them out to cool and look! I even put a sign out. Hot pies only eat when cool, but no, some berry decides to come along and gobble them up. 
this really bakes my bread, you know? Who would do such a horrible thing? Oh, I can find the culprit. Yes! Lime is an awesome detective. Is that a donut? Crack a clue, take a bite. I've read a lot of Apricot Christie mysteries. I know all the tricks to find the who, what, where, when, and hi. Hum mm. Also, I really like donuts. I don't think there are many clues to go on. It's all just a mess. Yes, this crime scene is a mess. No berry would eat pie like this. We are clearly looking for an animal. An animal? <gasps> This cat's paws don't match the markings in your pies. Therefore, she is innocent. Ha. Wow, you are good. Oh, I'm just getting started. Red Hot the Ferret, our next suspect. He is? What do you know about it? Ferret. Get out of town. Red Hot would never steal from a baker as sweet and generous as Strawberry. Aww. Thank you, Huck. Besides, he's been with me all day. Uh, hey, let us help. Leave no bag of flour unturned, no critter unquestioned, no pie left behind. Checked every animal, followed every lead, but I had nothing. Are you narrating right now? Here, Huck, you can have the last bite. I don't deserve it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey, it's okay, Lime. You tried your best. I'll just have to keep a closer eye on. Huckleberry Pie did it. <gasps> I would never. You ate my donut like an animal. Just like the pies. Why would I steal from Strawberry? She gives me pies for free. Um, say what now? Her sign said, hot pies only eat when cool. Strawberry likes my music. She thinks I'm cool. So she leaves those pies out for me. That's not what the sign means, is it? Not, not even a little. Wow. I stole the pies, didn't I? Yeah, uh -huh. totally. Just wow. Oh, I'm sorry, Strawberry. I really did think those were thank you pies for my smooth and jazzy tunes. I do think you're cool, and your tunes are very smooth and jazzy. <laughs> Just check with me next time. There's still one mystery left. Why do you eat pies like that? Big Apple Fair's pie-eating champion, three years in a row. No better way to enjoy a pie. Okay, fairies, on your mark. Get set. Go! Pies do taste better this way. Another mystery solved. It's a brand new day, Custard. Gotta get dressed. I forgot to say good morning, Custard. How rude of me. It's my first weekend in Big Apple City. I have to explore, see the sights, take it all in. It's gonna be magical. <laughs> or maybe not. Whoa, whoa, what happened to exploring the city? Yeah, the city feels a little too big for this old country, Barry. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay in today. No, ma'am, I mean, sure, the city can seem big and scary, but you have to get to know it and let it get to know you. Big Apple City is no ordinary city, and you are no ordinary Barry. So get out there and show the city what you've got. A 
fresh new start. A dash of nerves, a pinch of fear. I feel my heart beating fast because I'm here. Where to start? What should I do? Big Apple City, how are you? There's so much here to see. And I'd like to introduce you to me. Pie. I love it. Things are going fantastic at the Big Apple Berry Works. Apparently, every berry loves my authentic down-home baking. I heard about I heard that it is so Ooh, look at me. I'm a simple country berry. I make simple pastries for simple people. And I dress too matchy-matchy. What? She does. I don't care how she dresses. She is taking all my customers. We need to show this country bumpkin how things work in Big Apple City. Why? We're your neighbors. I'm Raspberry Tart. That's my truck over there. Oh, and uh, this is Sour Grapes. That's your truck? Oh, and come drops. So pristine. Wow. It is nothing compared to this thing you've got going on. You're the fresh new fairy on the block. Oh, thank you. So, what can I get you, new food truck friend? Strawberry pie? <gasps> Strawberry strudel? Pano strawberry? That's a new one. We'll take everything you've got left. Everything? Eee! Ooh, uh, 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 uh. I sold out. Who did it? Me, I did it. I hope this whole small town country berry thing doesn't get old. What do you mean? Well, this is Big Apple City. You've got to keep things fresh or customers just move on. The country berry bit is cute today, but if it starts to feel stale, it's... Bye-bye, berry. Oh. Shortcakes. What's wrong? I sold out of everything. That's awesome! Awesome today. Tomorrow? Bye-bye, Barry. Hmm. My country Barry bit will get old! Barry's will get tired of my baking! The universe put you here for a reason. Why would you think that? <gasps> Mystery solved. Look! 
Come on down to the Raspberry Supreme for authentic country treats. Yeehaw. Oh, no, they did not. Come on, shortcakes. We're fixing this. Raspberry tart. What did you do? What? Berries like my authentic treats better than hers. Your treats? Those are my treats. You bought them and stole my whole, uh, my whole vibe. How dare you? Your treats were strawberry. Mine are strawberry and raspberry and have a bow. See, anyone can do country and the berries have spoken. Oh, hello, strawberry shortcake. You're from the country. Are these authentic? Um, well, the berry who baked these definitely knew what she was doing. <laughs> Maybe a bit heavy on the raspberry. If y'all like mixing flavors, how about I whip up a batch of my authentic every berry country coffee cake to give you city berries a real treat? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Raspberry made me feel like being myself wasn't enough. But then she tried to steal everything that made me me. You can try passing my treats off as yours, but there's only one authentic Berryville baker in Big Apple City. And she's not going anywhere. Bye-bye, Barry. Shortcake, you gonna let us in? So, it's the Berry Bounty Banquet, and I accidentally invited my Berry Bessie's entire families, but it was fine because Aunt Praline and I made it work, but then this lucky spoon caused a chain reaction that destroyed the apartment, and my friends and their families are all outside, and everything is ruined! You are not lucky, spoon. You are bad. Shortcake! Okay, fine, I'll go. Hi, every berry. <laughs> What's up? What's up? We're here for the banquet. Everything all right? <laughs> Hold that thought. Uh, Orange, is your friend okay? I don't really know. We can do this! Give me two minutes and duct tape! Yep, she's lost it. <laughs> Fluffy Chiffon, one of Lime's dance? I hear you have some interesting flavors in that fabulous ice cream cart of yours. Oh, uh, weird flavors that make no uh, sense. Mom, everything Bagel is doing it again. Make him stop. Did Blueberry just get mad? <laughs> hey, now, it's like I always say to my little lemon zest, there's always a positive way to express feelings. Lemon's dad talks about feelings? Ugh, lemon zest. What? Like you don't get embarrassed by your family? <sighs> Shortcakes, let us in. It is getting weird out here. It's getting weird in here, too. We have a blowtorch. <laughs> What's up? Shortcakes? Spill. Spill? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean, spill? Spill what? My spoon destroyed the apartment and ruined the food, and I think the pressure broke my hand, and it's all my fault the banquet's ruined! <laughs> Why is every berry laughing? Holidays never go the way you expect. Oh, I could tell you stories, sweetie. Remember when Lom wanted to stay up and fell asleep in her mashed potatoes? She woke up with a potato mustache. <laughs> Dad! A situation like this is a good character builder. The lesson we have to take away from this... Lessons later, babe. I'm hungry. Just show us what we can do. This is amazing. I'm starving. Starving. this lady some common tea.
believe you tried to hide everything. We're family. We fix our problems together. I can't believe it worked out. I knew it would. Uh-huh. What? Lucky spoon. If it wasn't for the lucky spoon, none of this would have happened. And isn't this kind of perfect? Yeah, it really kind of is. <laughs> Sorry, I doubted you. There, over here, yes. Um, okay. Or here? Oh, I don't know. How are you settling in at the very works? Still a little nervous. Nervous? Me? <laughs> no. <laughs> what would what would make you think that? Well, you've moved those same bowls back and forth ten times. I've been here like a minute. Oh. Pre-baking nerves run in the family. Fortunately, I knew just what she needed. Here, this should help. And Praline, you didn't have to get me a... <coughs> a dusty old spoon. Huh. Thanks. This is, uh... What baker doesn't need an extra spoon? Hmm? Huh? No berry. No berry has a spoon like this one. It's been passed down in our family from baker to baker, berry to berry. It's special. Lucky. And it'll be your most prized appliance. <laughs> Once you get the hang of it. Ha! Get the hang of it! It's a spoon! Train me in your ways. Let's begin. Truthberry, I did think the spoon was kind of weird at first, but holding it makes me feel like generations of bakers have my back while I bake. Check it out. This spoon has definitely upped my game. Mm, mm. Yes, I can hear them now. The family is definitely proud. And now that I've mastered the ways of the spoon, I feel like I can handle whatever the berry works throws at me. Oh, mastered. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, come on. I mean, what else could there possibly be to... Teach me to... Uh -huh. That's enough for today, young Barry. It takes a lifetime to truly master the spoon. Delicious. Business at the Extraordinary Berry is booming, which is fantastic. Just one teeny tiny problem. Oh, my teeny tiny oven. I can't bake fast enough to keep every berry happy, which is a good problem. 
But still, it is a problem. My cranberry jam says every problem has a solution. I don't know anything about fixing ovens, but I know some berry who does. So, Lemon, what do you think? You came to the right berry. I'll give you an oven like no berry has ever seen before. Uh, nothing crazy. A little bigger. Maybe a second oven rack? Yeah, yeah, sure. Oven rack. Got it. Okay, let me know if you need any. And you're gone. I'm gonna turn that oven into a baking feast. This oven is not messing around. I guess I can work with this. With six burners, I can finally make every color of that rainbow fudge pad a shoe I wanted to try. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Lemon. Let's see what your oven can do. Lemon really came through for me. I was afraid she'd get carried away and cause some kind of disaster. But I guess I should have trusted her. No, never mind. There it is. Um, Lemon, <laughs> maybe the oven is a little too powerful, I don't know. What do you mean? This is great! Huh. Maybe I can turn it down a little. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's uh-oh? What's uh-oh? Run! Fudge turned out great. I'll make a few adjustments. Smaller? Mm, smaller. Less explosive. Duh. Less explosive. And pink. Pink? Oh, come on. Okay. Pink. Introducing the Berry Berry Oven. Now this oven says strawberry shortcake. Uh, I adjusted the spark berry intake so the oven won't go kablooey. Still pretty powerful, though, even if it is. Ugh, pink. Thank you, Lemon. Uh, little battle, I'm never gonna blend batter with this old mixer. Mixer, huh? Uh, I can take a look. What mixer? Oh, what? Did you say mixer? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just gonna stir this the old-fashioned way. Yeah, no more inventions needed here. <laughs> No berry. Boom! There's a popsicle stick! You scared the strawberries out of me! That's the idea. It's nearly frightful. It's my first frightful in Big Apple City. I need to come up with a creepy cupcake. I'm sure you'll come up with something frightfully fitting. <laughs> oh, if you see the ghost, say hi for me. <clears throat> I'm sorry, the what now? <gasps> Blueberry, wait up! <sighs> uh, hold on. <laughs> Did you say ghost? Yup, J. Quincy Cupcake. He was the owner of the Berry Works when it was still a cupcake factory. Oh, J. Quincy was a perfectionist who checked every cupcake for the tiniest blemish. How shall I prove him that? <gasps> Some folks say his spirit still roams the Berry Works at night. Oh, judging any baker working late. And alone. But you've never actually seen Jay Quincy Cupcake's ghost, right? Huh? Oh, golly, I wish. I've tried to meet him for years. Maybe tonight you'll be the lucky berry. Have fun. Okay, a cupcake obsessed ghost. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Great, great, great. Yeah, not creepy at all. <laughs> Strawberry shortcake is scared of ghosts. Let's get
give her a frightful treat she will never forget. Ooh, okay, it's fine. It's totally fine. You're just gonna grab your lucky spoon and bake. There is absolutely nothing to be scared of! Ooh, just the lights, Strawberry. It's just the lights. Stop wavering! Oh! It's just a plant. <laughs> Oh, it's a rusty sign, Strawberry. <laughs> you're just gonna, you're gonna get it together. <laughs> be like Blueberry, be like Blueberry, be like Blueberry. Holy hazelnuts! You're never gonna find inspiration for Scary if you're too scared to be inspired. <sighs> Calm down. All right, what's that? Bad plumbing, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> it is I, Jay Quinty. Who dares bake in my present? No, no baking here! It is you! Strawberry shortcake! Oh, one time I don't want to be recognized for my baking. No one likes your gross country treats. Go back to Berryville! <laughs> <laughs> The universe told me Strawberry was the lucky berry, and now I finally get to meet the ghost of the berry works. Put her there, Mr. Cupcake. Hey. <laughs> oh, hey. Ah. Oh, have you met Strawberry Shortcake? She's a perfectionist, just like. Huh? Hello. Whoa, this is the J. Quincy Cupcake. Oh, we should try one of your cupcakes. No, Blueberry, they're hot. That's fine. I've got ice cream fingers, and he's a ghost. Ow! That's hot! What are you. And gumdrops! You three are the reincarnated spirit of Jake Quincy Cupcake? <sighs> I knew it. Raspberry tart? Sour grapes? Bread pudding? Why are you trying to scare me? <gasps> That's it! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Ow. Just checking. It's my spooky surprise cake. Each bite has a new hidden flavor waiting to shock you. Raspberry, then grape, then bread pudding filling. Mmm, that is terrifyingly tasty. How did you ever come up with it? Really, Blueberry? We were together the whole time. 